Good morning, everybody. It's your old pal, Mike Kelly Seven, coming to you live. This is not filmed in front of a studio audience. Da -da -dee -dee. Da -da -da -da. All right, another beautiful day. Ready to begin. I'll have to teach my summer class. Composition. Freshman composition for foreigners. That's right. I teach the foreigners. You ever notice in the summertime, sometimes with the spring, the air gets a funky smell to it? Musky, funky smell. Ugh, that's what it's like today. This 29th day of May, 2013. 2013, imagine that. So, uh, I got a topic for you. I'm just bounding out with the topics lately. Oh, look at this guy. Don't you come out and kill me. No, don't you do it. Don't you do it. I know you are tempted, but don't do it. Thank you for not killing me. I was watching the news this morning. Look at this girl. She's talking to herself. Either that or she's on her cell phone. She's probably on her cell phone. What do you have to say that's so important at the age of 12? At 8 o'clock in the morning. was I? Oh yeah. Watching the news this morning, CNN is all about this new disease that's come out. There's a new SARS-like coronavirus. They say uh, it's a threat to the entire planet. It has so far infected 49 people, 27 of whom have been killed by the disease. 27. It's a threat to the planet of 7 billion because it's killed 27. I don't know. People will say, well, you know, with airplane technology, the disease can spread across the entire planet in just a day. Yeah, I know that. But uh, I also know that people are freaks and that the second there's a, an outbreak of any kind of disease that's more than two countries big, I'm sure that people, I'm going to close my airport, I'm not going to leave my house, I'm going to lock myself inside with some sea rations and my bottled water and turn on my air filter and I will wait out the apocalypse. And that's the topic. Have you ever noticed in the last, say, 10 years, I've really noticed it a lot more, that everything is apocalyptic. It started with um, the, with the, the millennium bug, you know, when the, the computers were going to all turn off and nuclear war was going to start. And then, of course, 9-11 happened. And that kind of set us off in this, the world is doomed mentality. In the Mayan calendar. So every single thing that happens nowadays appears to be the most serious thing in the history of the planet. Rocks falling from space, diseases, bridge collapses, government takeovers of everything, Obama, Muslims, everything seems to be an apocalypse now. There's even a commercial that kind of makes fun of it. Guy goes into this, his kid's room and it says, Beware the poopocalypse. Poopocalypse. Imagine that. And there's poop smeared everywhere. It was funny. But everything is an apocalypse. You get poopocalypse, you got 
Obama apocalypse. Why is that? That everything is so scary now. I'll tell you why. It's the media. And it's it's not that they're doing it with the mind of making people scared. That's not the that's not the reason. It's a simple fact of capitalism that Karl Marx never saw. And here it is folks, you ready? The purpose of a newspaper or any news program is not to spread the news, is not to report the news, not to report truth, not to reveal scandals. No, no, no. The purpose of a newspaper or any news organization is to make money. I learned that the hard way. Well, the hard way. I learned that to my surprise taking my students on a tour of the Boston Globe years ago. And a lady sat us all down and asked what the purpose of a newspaper was. And we all said, the, you know, idealistic crap. Oh, to inform and to elucidate truth. Nope, to make money. She said, you ever notice that advertisements are huge on the page of a newspaper? And the news stories are off to the sides? It's because the purpose of a newspaper is to advertise, to make money for the advertisers or whatever. So, think about it. If you're an advertiser and you... Uh, want to get your word out there, you want to put it in a newspaper, right? But if nobody reads the damn newspaper, then you're not going to spend all that money on the ad. So, newspapers realize this, and they seek out stories that they know are going to grab the interest of the reader. And human nature is to be interested in the macabre. The macabre. Like, uh, you know, murder, suicide, death, drugs, scandal, sex. All of those things that also have the side effect of making us afraid. We gravitate to those types of things. We want to know what the threats are, and in so doing, we give ourselves this mentality that we're always under threat. Turn off the TV for a while. Don't read the news. Don't, uh, don't look at yahoo.com or msn.com and all that stuff. Ignorance is kind of a bliss in that regard. Although, I know it's dangerous. And those who don't know what's going on are victims of everything that's going on. You know what? Knowing about it <sighs> doesn't do a whole lot either. So I think I take the middle road. I don't want to be completely ignorant of what's going on in the world. I don't think that's smart. In case something like Hitler comes up. And I don't think Obama's a new Hitler. Not by any stretch. But at the same time, I'm not going to be glued to the damn TV 24 hours a day and, and think that the world is coming to an end any moment because some newspaper says 27 people died in Arabian countries over disease. It's like, what's the, the disease of the week, the apocalypse of the week? Take it with a grain of salt, folks. Do you think the world is coming to an end? Do you think that we're living in the end times? If you think so, you probably point to things like floods and famines and earthquakes and tsunamis and government takeovers and blah blah blah. Well, you know, I think uh, we've always had floods and earthquakes and tsunamis. And uh, Hitler and Tojo and Mussolini were very anti-Christ-like, especially Hitler. So, uh, I think if you were going to argue that we were in the end times, that was probably the best time to make that argument. But uh, in the end, nothing happened. 2012, people believed the world was going to end. Didn't happen. Remember that guy that said, oh, the world's going to end on March 21st? Nope, didn't happen. Oh, it's going to end on October 21st? Nope, didn't happen. So, my point is, take it with a grain of salt, people. Relax. Relax. All right, this is your friendly neighborhood, Mike Keeley 7. Saying I'll talk to you later.
people. So we're at the end. I'm gonna go hide in a mountain hideaway. I'm gonna bug out. Go ahead, bug out. Leave us alone.